Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have an entire house clean with me. Um, I just needed to tackle our whole house and I was switching my load of laundry around. I'm so proud of myself for probably about two or three weeks now. I've been doing a load of laundry every day and it has helped so tremendously much in just keeping the chaos under control. The other thing I do is before I go to bed at night, I load my dishwasher and run it and then when I wake up in the morning, Morning, um, I empty it so that I can kind of load it throughout the day which has also helped a ton so a load of dishes and a load of laundry every day and then whenever that load of laundry is dry I actually do like fold it put it away just one load at a time I know sometimes I've thought that doing multiple loads you know at one time folding it all seemed to save time but in reality it just gets piled up and it doesn't work out how I imagine it's going to so those are some things that I have been doing lately that have really really helped me stay on top of just the things that you need to do all the time so um, as you can see, I'm just kind of doing some regular cleaning, just vacuuming, dusting. I wash the front window and just wiping stuff down. This is something I definitely do not do often enough and that is wiping down my washer and dryer. They get so dusty with the lint from the dryer. I feel like laundry rooms can sometimes be one of the dirtiest spots in the house for sure. I decided to go ahead and wipe down all of our baseboards. This is something I don't do too often. It doesn't need it very often, but since I was already kind of tackling everything in the front part of the house, I decided to wipe them down. This entry area and the dining room are the only areas that we have this style like baseboard or paneling, and um, it does collect some dust. If you're new here, I'd love it if you hit the subscribe button. I try to give you at least one cleaning video a week and motivate you. If you watch my vlogs, I do a lot of DIY projects and other fun things. I'm always on the go and I don't like to sit still for very long. So I feel like my projects are never ending. This has been something I've been pushing to the back burner just because I didn't have time to do it, but this day I found some time and that is just to wash all of my cabinets down. Um, having white cabinets obviously makes it so that you need to keep up with them a little bit more and I do a lot of spot cleaning, but once in a while it's good to just wash them all down and I'm using the same spray I used on the baseboards or the paneling out in the front part of the house.
Also, if you're interested, these knobs are actually from Amazon and they're a great little render tack because they bring a modern touch, but you don't have to drill multiple holes, especially if your kitchen just has, you know, the knobs with one screw. So I will leave them linked in the description box. Another little perk is that they are super inexpensive. Your intentions are good. I really want to encourage you guys today that if you're feeling like giving up as a mom or a homemaker, that you have so much more in you and that you can accomplish so much more than what you think you can. I know there's a lot of days that I feel like giving up or there's just way too much to do or I can't handle it all. And I know that God created me with all of the things that I need to be a mom and a wife and a homemaker. Um, I just need to tune into that and just ask him for help. And and so I really encourage you guys, if you're feeling discouraged today, just that you can do it <laughs> as easy as those words are. But I know that there's been so many times people have said those words to myself and I have felt encouraged by them. So you can do it today. All right, so I'm probably going to get questions about this. First of all, I use Norwex claws and they are something that has colloidal silver in them. So they're actually able to kill bacteria on their own with just water. But I'm using the Norwex paste. It comes kind of in a block inside that round tub. And then I add a little bit of water to it just to kind of loosen it up. And then you can use it to clean your glass top stove like you saw to clean really anything. It's slightly abrasive, but not that it's going to scratch anything. Um, so I use it with my one of my Norwex cloths and then I just shined my sink up this day. I also added in some grapefruit oil just to make it smell good. We When words are said, we'll regret I can see the fire that we made just to save us When we try to make up for never letting go Said the things we promised not to say Then we break up just to start all over Even though we know This is the hard way can't be heartache together This is the hard way to better We can't be heartache Having the girls help clean up their toys and things has been a major priority on my list and they've been doing so well with it. So I just asked them to come into the living room and collect the things that were theirs um, that they knew where they went and they did that and helped me get it all whipped up pretty quickly. Let's go back. Let's
this Caldrea spray smells so good. Caldrea is probably my favorite cleaning brand. Um, it's something that Grove carries. If you guys have never heard of Grove, they're just a company that has a lot of cleaning products that you can order from. Um, and there's always a link in the description box to get a bunch of free products with your first order. So you can always check that out because I know I've gotten some questions recently in the comments of where I get my cleaning products. I guess I just haven't talked about Grove for a while. Um, but yeah, that's where I like to get them. And if you search on their website, you can find the Caldrea brand. Brand. I use their countertop spray and their linen spray a lot. This is my constant battle <laughs> just because of course I use it every day but my little like office area and uh, something else I encourage you guys to do I just decided to take the plunge and do this. You see the papers um, on the wall they're actually kind of my goals as far as my morning routine and night routine of like you know personal care things or just cleaning in the house whatever I really want to get done in the morning when I first get up or right before I go to bed. So sometimes writing your goals out does really help and I've noticed how much better I've been able to stick to my routines they don't always happen at the exact times I have written on my routine papers but if I can at least get the routine done <laughs> um, then you know I can keep up with it the things like I was talking about in the beginning of you know doing your laundry once a day doing the dishes those sorts of things so write it down and you might see a big change in accomplishing your goals Okay, this was actually the same day, just later, and I put on a big comfy shirt. <laughs> um, I had been getting hot, and so I had to make supper, all of that happened, and then I could get back to getting the house cleaned. So um, this bathtub is actually where I bathe my daughters. I don't use the bathtub in their bathroom, and so I don't clean that one very often. Uh, but of course, that tub does need to get cleaned on a weekly basis. So um, I just sprayed it down and rinsed it down. Another little tip I have for you is to be using something natural in your bathtub, especially if your kids are taking baths in it, because it doesn't really matter, you know, what if you scrub it or whatever, there's still some residue left from a cleaner so in some sense they're getting it in their tub water so I would just say to be really careful what you use to clean your tub with so that your kids are not getting exposed to cleaners on their skin This is the bathroom that's closest to my daughter's rooms and it's the one they use a lot but like I said we don't really use the shower in here and also the shower in our bathroom I'm trying to wash whenever I take a shower instead of you know going through the routine of getting soaked while I'm trying to wash the shower <laughs> um anyways so that's why I didn't show me scrubbing my shower out Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? The rosewater driftwood is always my favorite for my daughter's beds. It has a very floral smell to it. It's not overwhelming. I'm not a huge floral person, but I love using it in their rooms.
Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that this motivated you. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Join my channel and I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day, whatever you're doing, and give this video a thumbs up for me. Will you take